So our main project is uh, trying to understand the human immune cell interaction network. So the immune system um, actually is consisted of multiple different cell types. Uh, and each of those are doing different functions. So we have, for example, cell types that um, are early responders. Basically, those are the ones that identify a pathogen or an abnormality in the body. And then they communicate with other cell types in the immune system by producing some proteins. And there are other cell types that are basically, um, for example, uh, targeted attackers. So they, they attack certain pathogens. Uh, um, and what we are trying to do is to basically understand these communication channels to see what are the proteins that are being used. Um, and we refer to these as uh, signaling pathways and uh, to basically understand the bigger picture on how this response to, uh, to a pathogen is organized. Uh, getting this understanding of the immune system can help um, immunologists, of course, um, but also clinicians and, um, and even the uh, pharmaceutical industry, because uh, it can, for example, uh, let you identify uh, susceptible uh, people to like certain pathogens. Like, for example, if there's another pandemic and uh, you want to um, have a strategy for vaccination, um, you want to be able to know like who are the most susceptible people and uh, vaccinate those first. Or um, also for uh, other uh, diseases like the uh, immune-related diseases like autoimmune uh, diseases and, and cancer, having this understanding um, basically allows you to target your intervention. The long-term impact is that uh, we will overall be uh, better equipped uh, to, to address the, the current threats to, to our health, um, but also the future ones. So like, for example, if there's going to be another pandemic, we will be better equipped uh, to, to address that by, by knowing better our own bodies and uh, how we can basically arm our, uh, our own uh, immune system. Well, of course, it uh, it funds my research, um, but also um, I think what is the, the most important uh, aspect for me is that it has enabled collaborations that it is hard for me to imagine that would have happened otherwise, uh, especially with the, because now we are working um, with uh, immunologists from the Karolinska Institute, and it's, um, it's hard to perceive that uh, we would have come in contact uh, uh, in another way. And so especially this joint call with the data-driven life science, I think has um, started so many um, probably long lasting uh, collaborations. So um, there are actually already like some uh, successful uh, applications of, uh, uh, of this approach. Um, uh, of um, that is re referred to as immunomodulatory approach, like that you are trying to uh, to edit a person's uh, like immune system, like by removing a cell type, for example, um, to uh, to address um, an issue. Um, for example, in in autoimmune uh, diseases like uh, like MS, um, uh, for example, and uh, I mean the potential applications. Is, is of course much wider. Um, cancer, for example, uh, is, um, is one of the issues because the, the issue with cancer is that you have some cells that should have been identified as, uh, as threats, but, but they're not. So they're basically allowed to um, proliferate. Uh, yeah, it's uh, actually uh, grown on me quite, uh, quite a bit. Uh, I, um, I, I really liked it. Um, I mean, it can be tough sometimes during the winter because of the uh, long dark hours, but, uh, but now I actually learned how to ice skate. Uh, so I also enjoy the winters. <laughs>